that was without doubt one of the greatest nights and fights I've ever been at. And the reason why I say that, and people say, oh, that's harsh, he's in a terrible state. McClellan wasn't in a terrible state. He, he was shipped out of East London Hospital where he'd had the most fantastic attention from, from John Sutcliffe, one, an eminent neurosurgeon. And he was, he was well, he was okay, just wasn't ready to travel. And he travelled against the British doctor's advice to a um, hospital in America where he suffered. Um, so yeah, there was a bit. He suffered a trauma once he got there. There was a problem with his oxygen, and that's when he lost his sight and most of his hearing. And that's when the damage was really done. Believe it or not, he would have walked out of that hospital like Spencer Oliver did a couple of years later. 